morning. Well, um, not exactly the heat wave they promised us, but not too bad a day. So weekend again the day. So what are we going to do today? Well, been out, picked up a few plants, uh, so they're going to have to go in. And uh, picked up this little baby that's going to go into the uh, bog garden. Love these. Love watching all the flies get trapped into them. And that lot. Uh, it's not a bad little sample that. Picked that up from my local pet shop and aquatic shop. Uh, fish will be seem okay. I'm going to do a filter clean today and uh, show you how I do it. It's a bit unusual. And but. Uh, that's mainly down to sort of like uh, my lack of planning when, well, I wouldn't say lack of planning, it's, um, I have got a plan, it's just uh, having the funds to put it into place. Um, but the way I do it, a little bit time consuming, but it works. And uh, I think it probably works better than what the actual uh, proper way of doing things is. But I'll show you that a little later on. So they're all hovering around. Let's just have a little look at the temperature. So, what have we got? So, uh, this morning it's 12.6. It was 12.7 when I first opened it, so 12.6. says so 20.4, but that's obviously inside the box, it's not the outside temperature. So, the morning feed's going to have to be a bit of wheat germ. out. I've not turned the water feeder on yet, the temperature isn't right for it. So. A bit of 20 koi uh, winter mix, 50-50, sinking and floating. See half of them go down, half of them come up. Also, uh, been a week since the PP treatment, so I'll have a couple of three of them out later on just to do a quick scrape, just make sure everything's all clear. Uh, they seem pretty happy, come for it okay. Um, I'll do a water test later as well. Done, done a couple during the week just to keep an eye on the things, and actually, um, Matilda's done seem to be too badly affected so been quite lucky on that one so, like I said temperatures ain't coming up as uh, as much as what some people have got which is a bit disappointing but I am shaded um, the sun sort of like comes up in the morning it's shaded by the house and doesn't really hit the garden until it sort of like comes past that wall there then it sort of like tracks around Tracks around all day, out that way, so you just see that blind, oh, see sun's up there. Uh, as the summer goes on, you know, it tends to sort of like come up and hit the garden higher and higher. So, not too bad on position in the pond. You know, it's got shade, part of the pond's in shade most of the day, so there's somewhere for the fish to go, don't get sunburned just takes a while for the temperatures to come up. I've still got the heater uh, connected at the moment, uh, still switched on, um, but I've set that down to 12, so if it drops down to drop down to 12 and that lot, it just click on, just keep the temperature stable. Anyway, let's uh, have a bit of breakfast and get on with the jobs. Okay, so ready to uh, do a filter clean. Now, um, most people uh, who have these Nexus, if you look down there, you can see you've got the drain valves with a uh, ball valve 
on there so you can flush the waste. Uh, most people who have their above, pond, uh, above ground ponds, um, it's not a problem like because then you can just connect up a two inch pipe, uh, one or one and a half inch pipe and, uh, and plumb it straight down to your drain. Uh, because I've gone for a in-ground pond and obviously the filter has to be below ground level, same level as the water. Um, it makes life a bit harder when you're doing this. Now I have got a plan in um, the near future to actually connect up the waste pipe kit to that with an extra pump and then pump it to waste. Um, but at the time I didn't have the funds to actually get the uh, spare pump. So the way I do it is slightly different but I actually think you probably even get the filter slightly cleaner. Okay so first thing to do is uh, to walk over to the control box and if we go in there and just knock off the pump so turn off the pump give it a couple of minutes for the couple of seconds for the water level to actually get itself level actually go looking a bit high and then down in here just push down the slide valve cut off the incoming water Going through to your media. I'll just give you a little push down like that. Then we just lock off the air to the outside chamber and then switch it over to the inside chamber. And then as you can see, that's bubbling away. And you can see all the rubbish and the trials. Starting to come out of there. We'll just leave that for 10 minutes or so, give it a good old bubble, try and get everything out, and then we'll come in with my special way of entering. A good few minutes, and I've also got this little brush on the end of the stick, and all I do is just give it a quick, quick up and down around the outside of the drum free up any algae and stuff that's got fogged up in there and you'd be surprised how much does get fogged up in there this time of year and this just frees it all up that's that and then what I do Pick up the old pond back, switch it on, and as you can see, the pipe goes down there to waste, feeds the old garden. So you're actually saving yourself a bit of water, and all this stuff actually is very good for the garden. So just put the hose in there, leave the hose and uh, just leave it to suck away and uh, come back and see it in a minute. So you see the pond sucking out the water there and leaving a bit of residue around the outsides uh, which I'll pick that up with the hoover just wait for it to click back on any second Here we go. Yeah, All down here. And what I also do is stick it down the inlet all the way down to the bottom to where the four inch pipe is. So I can all the water there and eagle eye the munchie and the people who are in the know say well where's your bottom drain purge well by doing this 
it's purging into the filter. And if you're like me and you do two or three flushes, two or three boils and two or three flushes at a time, um, you, you are purging the bottom drain anyway, or well, that's my opinion. If you look down there, you can see. all that out I'll get back to you. Well that's the uh, first rinse done and then what I'm going to do now is just swap the air back over to the outside chamber to the moving bed media. One, two, get that bubbling away again and then if you watch carefully on the inlet see, see what I sort of swat you mean about purging the bottom drain you see might see stuff coming through so in there look underneath the uh, slide valve handle lift it up and in it comes and then you can see some big bits of crud or caught in the bottom drain being purged out just let that fill up to its normal height Again, go in, push the slide valve down, and again, swap over. The valve, and give it a second. I can boil for again for another five minutes or so and repeat. So let that boil, go put the kettle on, make a nice cup of So this is the skimmer, uh, an in-ground skimmer. Uh, there's not many of these available in the UK. Uh, in fact, this is an Oasi one, and until recently, as far as I know, it was the uh, only one that you could get in the UK. Um, but now some of the stuff from the US is uh, coming over and is available in the UK now, um, i trying to remember the name of the brand now, but it's the Pong Guy, I believe it is, his, uh, his website is selling the ones that Greg Wickstock uh, makes, or his company makes in America, you know, probably America's biggest uh, pond building and pond supply outfit. But yeah, this is an Oazi White in-ground skimmer. Um, you can see it's got the gate in there and then underneath the basket is the pump which sucks the water down and then straight round and that feeds over into the back of the shower. Now again in the ideal world um, you will have a filter in between the uh, skimmer and a back of the shower. So again, with a raised pond, it's not a problem because you can grab it, you feed your uh, skimmer line into the same main filter as your uh, bottom drain, especially the guys who have um, rotary drums and moving beds separate. But even, even on sort of things like uh, normal filters or like the Nexus filters like I've got, you can grab your feed to them both. But again, the problem being now is that in ground, it's a bit of a different thing. You actually have to have the pump 
to suck the water out and pump it round. So, as you saw last week, uh, the top of my backy shower there has some sponges and some filter floss. So I am working on sort of fitting a um, sort of like a hundred micron screen into the top of there uh, when I can get around to finishing that. But at, at the moment, it seems to work well. Comes in through here, pumps around to the, the backy shower, go through some filter floss and some sponges and then down onto the ceramic media. Um, it's got to be clean water going over the ceramic media for the bacteria to be able to work properly and get the correct oxygen. And it must be working because my nitrates are virtually zero. Not quite zero, but virtually zero. And considering I've got quite high nitrates out of the trap, out of the tap water, that's not bad going. So the backy shower must be doing what it's supposed to be doing. So I'm happy with that. Uh, later on down the line, I may able to rig up a sort of a pump in between, maybe um, one of the ones that I can bury in the ground, like a, a canister filter. But for now, this is uh, does the job and it works. So basically, in there, can't see, but there's a basket. And all you do is lift out the basket there clean out the crud inside it. I give it a jet wash off as well because you get the algae growing on there and it sort of cleans it all out. Um, so I'll get this out. I've got to put the phone down. When I do get to 100 subscribers, I will invest in a proper camera and a tripod and all those bits and pieces that can go with it. But not worth doing just yet. I'll wait until I get to 100 subscribers. Right, so I'll get this out and I'll get back to you. So that's the basket out. You can see it's doing what it's uh, designed to do, catching any leaves and that lot, any uneaten food. Uh, I did put a bit of sort of like old fishing net stuff in there as well, because the holes are quite big. They're about 10 mil, 10 mil holes. So it was letting quite a bit of stuff through onto the skimmer, not holding it in the basket. Uh, so I just sort of cable tied and stitched this on in places and it seems to stop a lot more stuff So all I do to this is just tip it upside down Give it a tap out And that like leave it upside down and Then what I do is I get the jet wash onto it So I just uh, give it a quick jet wash and I'll get back to you So that's the basket all cleaned out Go down there and then we can just make out the pump down there. So this just slips down underneath there. Job done. That's it. That's it cleaned out. And then all we do once, twice a day, just go in with a net and then just scoop out any floating food that gets into the skimmer. Just keeps it clean and then the leaves and everything like that gets emptied out two or three times a week and then it adds a good full jet wash clean once a week. So basically that's, uh, that's that. And then all I do is change the uh, filter wall in the top of the uh, in the top of the uh, shower, which I'll do in a second in a minute. So, just lift the lid off. And you can see how filthy the filter wall is. And just hold it in. Lift it out, chunk it down there, and then you can wash them out, uh, and you can get probably two or three uses out of a piece. Um, but it's cheap as chips. I think I've got a big 10 meter roll off of uh, eBay for about 10 quid. 
so there's a nice clean one on there i will wash the sponges out um later on this week or next week uh, they don't get too clogged up because of this stuff so basically just cut this all under nice clean one just make sure you have the edges folded up a little bit so nothing can get down there Like that, and that's that done. What's that? 30 seconds, a minute to do. Doesn't take long at all, and like I said, big roll of it on eBay, on eBay is, um, yeah, 10 quid, just thereabouts. And then uh, just turn the water back on. Turn the water back on, nice clean piece of filter floss or filter wall. That filter out most fine particles. Put a nice polish on your water. So basically, that is uh, my weekly uh, filter clean. Doesn't take that long at all. And it seems to keep my water lovely. Just quick a look at the fish again. Maybe a few less in here soon. And I've got to get rid of some of the uh, lesser good quality ones to make way for some more. And uh, if you like and subscribe and uh, tune in next week and watch next week, uh, we may even have a new member to the family. But uh, that just depends on the current situation with the COVID-19 and everything like that. But I'm hoping to make a video about it all. So like and subscribe and uh, see who the new member of the family is going to be. All right, guys, stay safe. Keep yourselves uh, indoors. And if you have to go out, then just look after yourselves and protect yourselves. All right, take care, boys. Bye.